بسم الله والحمد لله مصلي عن على محمد وآله ومن تلاه وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه وسلم تسليما كثيرا أما بعد يا أيها الإخوة في الله as we come back إن شاء الله تعالى from the book Baluga Maram Kitabu Jam Babu Tarheeb Min Masawi Akhlaq We warning against the evil conduct warning against evil behavior despicable behavior bad manners and character nam ya ayuhannas and that this month of ramadan it teaches us to have noble manners to have noble character to have good conduct to speak politely to give the salam to enjoin upon righteousness to aawun ala al-birri wa taqwa to enjoin upon all that which is good of taqwa of consciousness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala naam ya ayyuha al-ikhwa so we want to warn against these ill manners and despicable behavior that we find in our communities we still find individuals that they come and pray mashallah tabarakallah but you still find them engaging in ill manners and despicable behavior and then after individuals break their fast you find them breaking their fast wa iyadha billah with a cigarette or a black and mal you find them going all day fasting wa lillahi alham of leaving off the haram but they just couldn't resist they had to go put this poison into their bodies after breaking their fast and you find them back indulging and socializing with individuals that's engaging in immoral behavior at the fasting after breaking your fast after you being amongst the muslims you had to go around those individuals that pollute you nam ya ayyuhannas so it is mentioned that we warn against the evil conduct so it is mentioned an abi huwara radiyallahu anhu qal qala rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam laysa shadid bi sur'a inna ma shadid alladhi yamliku nafsahu inda ghadr mutafaq alayhi narrated abu huwara radiyallahu anhu allah's messenger alayhi salatu wa salam he said the strong man is not the not the good wrestler the strong man is not the individual who can wrestle who can wrestle well or get you to the ground or wrestle you to the ground or overpower you but rather ya ayyuhannas the strong man is he who controls himself when he is angry mutafaqun alayhi so the strong individual is not the person who is 
argumentative or he thinks himself to be a tough guy or he is strong or he can get you to the ground or he can fight or beat you up. But rather, ya ayyuhan nas, the strong person is the individual who can control himself when he is angry. He controls himself when he is angry. He doesn't let himself get him self to the, he doesn't let himself get to the point he don't he doesn't let himself get to the point where he is not control of himself so much so that he wind, he winds up getting himself in trouble la ya ayyuhannas the person he controls himself he controls his anger and you find from amongst the people within our community who fall victim to this affair. They get into an argument. The first thing they go and get is a gun. They get into an argument, they want to fight. They get into the argument, they, get, they go get all their boys to come back and fight one person. <laughs> Allah musta'an. وَعَنْ إِبْنِ عُمَّى رَضِيَ اللَّهُ عَنْهُ وَعَنْ إِبْنِ عُمَّى رَضِيَ اللَّهُ تَعَالَ عَنْهُ مَاذَا وَعَنْ إِبْنِ عُمَّى رَضِيَ اللَّهُ تَعَالَ عَنْهُمَا قَالْ قَالَ رَسُولُ اللَّهُ صَلَى قَالَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ الظلم ظلمات اليوم القيامة متفق عليه. It is mentioned, يا أيها الناس, narrated by narrated by Ibn Umar. Allah's Messenger عليه الصلاة والسلام. He said, الظلم. He said, oppression will turn into darkness on a day of resurrection, ya ayyuhan nas. Is that for an individual to oppress someone? For an individual to oppress another believing servant? To oppress a Muslim? And also to oppress a non-Muslim? Because it is mentioned as dhulumat. Darknesses, that oppression will turn into darkness on the day of resurrection. So if you oppress anyone of Allah's creation, you will have to answer for these, for this oppression that you have done, ya ayyuhan nas. And Jabir narrated, ready Allahu anhu, Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He mentions, at taqu dhulm, at taqu dhulm, fi inna dhulm, dhulmatu al-yawm al-qiyamah, wa taqu shuh, fi innahu ahlak, min kana qablakum, aqama qal alayhi salatu wa salam. أخرجه المسلم. It is mentioned Allah's Messenger عليه الصلاة والسلام. He said, "Beware of oppression, for oppression will return, will turn into darkness on the day of resurrection. And beware of niggardliness, for niggardliness destroy those who came before you." Being stingy, being oppressive and stingy, ya ayyuhan nas. Oppressing individuals, maybe you speaking, yani, in a manner that is unpleasing, that is unbefitting. Speaking about someone, oppressing someone with your tongue, or oppressing someone with your physical body. 
or harming someone by hitting them. Ya ayyuhan nas. So it is mentioned that a zulm, that oppression, injustice, this means that putting something other than in its other than its proper place or concealment of the truth by hiding it so that the truth becomes invisible. So on a day of judgment it will appear to be in the form of darkness. So this hadith informs us that oppression is forbidden, whether it be on someone's life or honor or their wealth. So oppression, ya ayyuhannas, it is forbidden, it is haram to oppress someone, whether it be that you take someone's life whether you are taking or you know taking someone's honor talking about someone's honor ya ayyuhan speaking about them in a manner that they they wouldn't like backbiting them slandering them ya ayyuhan nas or taking someone's wealth whether you steal it or forcibly take it or you set someone else to set someone, you know, send someone to take it, or set set the person up to get robbed, or the likes. Yeah, are you nas. So we want to warn against this evil behavior. We want to warn against this despicable behavior. That you, your Abdullah, upon Islam, you submitted to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. So now that you submitted to Allah, you came into the fold of Islam. Now it is upon you to work towards righteousness, to work towards adorning yourself with good, be with good conduct and good behavior, to change your lifestyle, to change the way you act and the way you carry yourself, ya ayyuhal ikhwah. And then it is mentioned, narrated by Ibn Mas'ud and radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Qal, qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, sibabu muslim fusuq, wa qitaluhu al-qufr, mutafuqun alayhi. Narrated by Ibn Mas'ud and radiallahu anhu. Allah's messenger alayhi salatu wa salam, he said, Reviling a Muslim is disobedience to Allah and fighting him and fighting with him is kufr. Fighting a Muslim brother, you are. All of you are Muslim. What are you fighting over? What are you arguing over? You arguing over money? What are you arguing over? A girl? What are you arguing over? The block? What are you arguing over? A dunya. You arguing over the dunya? Reviling your Muslim brother. Reviling him, speaking ill of him. Stabbing him in his back. Multiple times. As if he is not a Muslim. Ya ayyuhan nas. His disobedience to Allah Azza wa Jal and fighting him is kufr. And also, Abu Hurairah radiallahu anhu mentions Allah's messenger alayhi salatu wa salam. Says, Iyakum wa dhun, Iyakum wa dhun, fa inna dhun akhdabu hadith mutafakun alayhi. Abu Huraira narrated that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, avoid suspicion, for indeed suspicion is the worst of false speech. 
So we must warn against this behavior of being suspicious of your Muslim brother or spying on him. Nam ya ayyuhannas. Or trying to yani, mix his words or to say things that he didn't say or to cause confusion and conflict or to turn your Muslim brother against him. Turning your Muslim brother against him on account of evil suspicion or bad thoughts of your Muslim brother, ya ayyuhal ikhwa. So it is mentioned that this fisk, ya ayyuhal nas, is that a man should fall into disobedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So for example, Allah has forbidden a Muslim to use words of abuse. And so long as a Muslim defies Allah's commands by calling someone names, he becomes a fasik, he becomes a sinner, ya ayyuhannas. Call him, call him your Muslim brother names or outside of his name. So if someone deems the murder of a Muslim permissible and he fights that person while he is a Muslim, this is what is referred to in the hadith as kufr. So these two things are not to be found in him. Nam ya ayyuhannas. Then the word kufr, disbelief, may only be applied on him metaphorically. And that fighting a Muslim is the action itself is disbelief. Is the actions of the disbelievers, ya ayyuhannas. And so the zan, this baseless suspicion has been construed as a colony, yani a false and malicious accusation. False malicious accu accusation. You don't like your Muslim brother, so you, you're you going to, you know, spy on him or make up things about him that is not true. So we want to warn against evil conduct, evil behavior. And so this is what we want to remind ourselves with Ya Ayyuhannas. And so it is upon the Muslim to adorn himself with noble manners and behavior and to warn against evil conduct. And this is what we end with here in Bidnillahi Ta'ala. Subhanaka Lahumu wa bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta. Astaghfiruk wa atubu ilayk. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.